Yo, what's cracking guys? My name is Texter and welcome to yet another video about emulation. So, we've emulated a PS3, somewhat. So now we're going to try and emulate quite another difficult console, the original Xbox. Now, I used to have one of these as a kid and um, oh, they were, they were brilliant. I had the original Star Wars Battlefront, a hell of a lot of Forza games. Well, the one Forza game that was on it. And countless other stuff, Halos and God knows what. And uh, I wanted to see if I could boot up uh, a copy of Forza Motorsport uh, that I had. Um, but obviously I don't have the original Xbox anymore, so why not emulate it? So, how do we do that? Well, there is an emulator called the Zemu emulator. I think that's how you pronounce it. X-E-M-U. And its job is to emulate the original Xbox on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux-based systems. So, we're going to try and do that today. So, let's give it a go. So, um, if you go over to their website, the zemu.app uh, website, uh, I'll put the link down in the description below, um, you can see they have quite a fancy site. There's some of the features, what it supports, blah, 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 and their compatibility list. Now, as you can see, 60% of their games, which is 616 games, are indeed playable, um, which is good. Everything from the original Halo Combat Evolved uh, to GoldenEye, that actually works perfectly for some reason. I don't know how. Um, and Forza Motorsport, all it comes up with is starts, so that's not a good sign for me, is it? <laughs> but we're going to give it a go anyway. So let's see how we get this thing set up and attempt to run Forza, see what happens. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download a copy for Windows because we are using Windows 11. Yes, I upgraded. Hey -o. Once it is downloaded, uh, you'll present. Yeah, you'll be presented with the Zemu a Win Release folder. So uh, you're gonna want to extract this out with any tool that you want, really. Uh, now, since I already have a copy before, I'm gonna nickname this number two. When you open Zemu up. It is gonna. It may complain about a few things, or it may give you this menu here. So. This menu uh, basically dictates the requirements of what the emulator needs for it to just function and actually load up anything. So, what it's going to need is a flash of the BIOS file, so that's for the original Xbox, which I do have somewhere, uh, which is here. So, um, there are countless different BIOS versions out there um, for the Xbox emulators. Um, the one that seems to be the most common on the internet is the Xbox 4627 Debug um, BIOS. Uh, it seems to have the best compatibility with quite a lot of games, so we'll shove that in. Uh, you'll then need an MCPX boot ROM file. Um, now, uh, this is just a little one kilobyte file, um, and it basically has some prerequisites for the thing to boot up, so you're going to need to put that in. You're then going to need to put a hard disk image. Now, um, Zemu does actually have a blank one, which you can pop in, um, or you can look on the internet and see if there's someone out there that has one with the Xbox, eh, Xbox, ooh, the Xbox dashboard already installed on that image and that just makes things a hell of a lot easier so we do have one of those so we're going to be using the one that ties into the bios so the two were linked if you try and put a bios on a different version with a hard drive on a different version um the two will not work and it will start throwing errors like there's no tomorrow so we're going to use the one that's tied into our bios the 46271 I'm going to add that in. And then the EEP ROM file, um, the Zemu emulator will just generate that for you, so don't worry about that. Um, system memory, it does default to 64 meg, but I just put it up to 128 meg because why not? Might as well. I've got 16 gig of RAM in this machine, so um, might as well make use of it. So click save. It will ask you to say uh, you need to restart to apply the update, and you should be... <laughs> Oh, 
like so. Um, and if you plug in any Xbox controller, it will just automatically detect it. You don't even have to do anything, um, which is great. Uh, so there are obviously ones with different launchers. This isn't the original launcher. Um, there are other ones as well well um which i will show you in this guy here so i've just loaded up the original disk um, you can load your Xbox game as an ISO file now if you are having problems with trying to get it to load in an ISO file or back it up as an ISO file there is a, a neat little tool that you can use called the XDVD monitor now uh, a quick Google search will have that pop up um, and it can create that ISO for you because the Xbox ISOs they're not just a simple ISO a little modified um, in terms of its structure uh, it will put it in the correct structure for you um, so once we've done that we can click open and boom we are away so if I shove this full screen um, now with Forza uh, <laughs> Texter, and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.